Mary. So um, and winter. Right, and winter. So we're gonna be starting cooking dinner tonight. We're this is Mary much... and Winter's cooking channel. Yeah. She's going crazy. Anyways, um, excuse me. I want to open. <laughs> We're going to be making uh, the homemade beef ramen soup that has, uh, really, uh, hamburger meat. We'll also have and ham and cheese crackers on the side. Yep. So these are all the ingredients. You'll need a ground beef chuck. One pound. One pound. And you would need one can of sweet peas, but if you're having, like, more than... Four servings, like for a bigger family, you would need two of these, uh, two of corn. You have some diced tomatoes. That's going to cook with a hamburger. Then I want, then, then there's mushrooms. And we got green beans. And we green beans. Salt. Salt. So that we use salt to season the hamburger. Then we have beef bouillon. Beef or granules, yes. Oh, yeah. And ramen noodles. And, yeah. Four ramen noodles if you're serving four, uh, at least four to six, possibly um, How many uh, five or six How to many serve more need? than that. Four. Can I have some on the side for spicy noodles? That's going to be for another night, baby. No. But there's only three! Fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this cooking started. I'm gonna make my spicy noodles last because I don't want it to be cold. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to take the hamburger out of the package and put it in the, the pot. Can you film me doing it? All right, so this is what we're gonna be doing, okay? Um, we need to get scissors to open that, not scissors, a knife to do that. Don't turn it sideways. Don't sideways. There we go. Sorry. Don't look at this our Christmas tree too. It's very messed up. Yeah, our dog too. Some of the wires on the bottom, so you won't be able to see the lights down there. And the cat. And the cat. cat. Oreo. Just sitting there watching us. About to fall asleep right there for some reason. <laughs> He's lazy. Crazy. And there's pumpkin. Yep, and there's. You can flip the camera. Okay, yeah, there's pumpkin right there. Yeah, he's very lazy. Okay, there's Oreo. And there's her sweet boy, Mocha. And look at you, boy. Would you like to have your own channel? Would you like YouTube channel? Huh? Guys, we're going to be making Mocha his own YouTube and TikTok channel and Instagram. So make sure to go check those out soon. Should we do one for all the animals? I don't know. I mean, the cats are, are not very photogenic. No, I wouldn't. Just Mocha. Yeah, just Mocha. All right, so yeah, we're just putting the hamburger meat in here. <laughs> Show them inside the thing. Let's see. Here's the hamburger meats with the wooden spoon. Don't touch it with your hands, please. What? Get a wooden spoon. What? Get a wooden spoon. Okay. Gee. I got the blue one. Oh, oh. Now you have to bash it up. Yep, bash it up real quick. And then we're going to start seasoning it. Okay, these are all the seasonings you will need. Salt. Not much. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, now Get we need pepper. Where's the pepper? Oh. Get your pepper. It's kind of much. Well, you didn't tell me to stop. Uh, garlic pepper, uh, garlic powder. Okay. That's enough. I love the smell of that. 
And some onion butter. <laughs> that God bless pepper, you. Gosh. God bless you. Thank you. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Raw meat. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt. It was just a little bit. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to get high off of the onion powder. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, go ahead and turn it on and let the hamburger meat. Cut. We turn it on to high. Yeah, turn it on to high. All right, and we're just uh, letting it cook for a little bit. And do we do anything else while we wait? Huh? No, we're just just letting it cook. Do we even cook the noodles? No, we put that's put, put in last. Because that cooks in the water and that makes that's what makes it soft. Okay. Okay. All right. See, so yeah, it's it cooking. Now we're gonna open some cans of pack the packages while the meat is cooking. Opening up the mushrooms. Oh, make, sure you, make sure you keep the lids on it so we can uh, drain the juice in a pot. Yes, Winter loves mushrooms. Fun fact. <laughs> I bet you guys are like, ew, what are you eating mushrooms all by itself? Well, these are cooked mushrooms in the pan. Mixing it now, we just gotta wait till we can add the beef, yada yada, and granules. Alright, so it looks like the hamburger meat with the diced tomatoes is 
cook down. So we're going to start adding the juices of the vegetables. So we're going to start off with the mushrooms here. Just, just pour the juice only. Don't put in the vegetables just yet. And just to let you know that once you put all the juice in, you're going to add some water in there too, okay? Just to bring in more juice. Uh, we're going to put in the juice of the green beans. Two cans of the whole kernel corn. There's the juice itself. Trust me, this is really delicious when you really start tasting the juice and everything. Okay, one, two. All right, and we're going to start adding some water in it. We're probably going to need more than that, just not knowing as far as like how much juice we're going to have. All right, so we're going to pour some in here. Okay, and you know the uh, the beef ramen soup that we uh, have, when we took out, there's these seasonings we do need to put in first. Make sure we get the beef flavor. The beef flavored uh, ramen soup. One, two. Ow. I stubbed my toe. Okay. Three. Just a bit. Now we're going to add some granules. <coughs> Show them what it looks like. Oh, this is what it looks like the granules. This is what we usually get from Walmart. Uh, it's really not that bad of a price to uh, get, put the granules in the soup. Okay? Yep. <coughs> Even Winter loves putting some of this in her ramen soup as well by itself because mm -hmm. it makes it more tastier even like she puts sriracha in her ramen soup boy should she ever she was like mm -mm. Okay. So like one about two two and a half just for now that stuff is really salty be careful, don't add too much. Yeah, you don't want to add too, too much. Don't dump it. Oh, you're going to be having some uh, some salty soup tonight. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Can we let it cook now? We have to let it cook. I'm going to taste it just a uh, bit for now and see okay. how it is. A little bit more of the right now. Can I try it first? Hmm? I think it tastes fine. It tastes fine? Okay, well, we'll just leave it alone. All right, and yeah, we just need to let it cook until it boils. Well, she lets that cook. We're gonna work on the cheese crackers. It's actually... <laughs> One second, y'all. We're having technical issues. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There we go. 
So, I got these crackers from Bucky's. These are the club crackers, I think, right? Mm-hmm. So, all you need is club crackers or any type of cracker. Doesn't matter. What is it? What is a block of cheese? Mm hmm? Hold on, I'll put it back in the fridge. I'll put it in the door. Type of cheese for now until we move. What that sponge for me so I can put this one. All the crackers are filled. Should I melt the cheese on it? Mm. Will you eat some? No, I didn't eat some. Is it done? Hmm? No, it, it, needs, it needs to boil. Should I just work on my noodles? I guess. Are you going to go set these out? Open it up. Can you open this for me? Thank you. I'm adding it in to the water. Okay, it's time to put the vegetables in. Okay guys, it's time to put the veggies in. Let, can I put this in the microwave real quick? Real quick. How long do I put it in for? Like 30 seconds. Okay, let me put it in for five minutes. It says one minute. Yeah, it's probably over the stove. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, excuse me.
didn't mean to. <laughs> That's a homemade beef on the soup. It's really good. Here. 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 Perfect. No, um, we don't need any more get granules in it or anything. We need more. Yeah, just about like uh, one and a half scoops. Mm -hmm. That's two full scoops, but that should be okay. That should be okay. Look at all that goodness. Trust this me, guys, it's really good. It's really good. So, um, we just have to let the noodles sit in here for five minutes, and it will be ready to serve. Okay. I'm sure with winter again today. Oh, right now I'm just getting my noodles out. The microwave out. Sorry, right, turn the camera off. This is what I add in my noodles usually. My mom knows what it's gonna be. Hot sauce. And then I have the hot sauce. Okay. So I add, I'll add like one squirt first. Oh my gosh, why aren't you working? There you go. One squirt. See how much one squirt does. <clears throat> Look how red it is. So I mean, it's not like that red, but like. There you go. And now I squirt. And now I squirt. I did like the drizzle.
perfect. Clean up your mess uh, while you're cooking. Yep. I like to add like switch, the switch, Swiss cheese on it. So. Oh. Me not knowing how to open. This is not Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the holes. This time it definitely has to have holes. Yes, it does. Yeah. Not Swiss cheese. Uh. Try one. Put it in the microwave. Let's see. Did you even get the right one? Did it say Swiss? I don't know. Oh, wow. Did it say Swiss? Put it in there for one minute to melt the cheese on top. Mixing the cheese with it. So now I'm just mixing the cheese with it. No, this is not for you, baby boy. Because I'm like that person who likes to decorate, I add just a little bit of just one. I did like three spots actually. We are honest to you guys. Winter, mm -hmm. can you please keep your fingers out of the soup? <laughs> Here it oh, is. Just, she's trying to firm herself by putting her finger in the soup. Here it is. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My noodles are finished. Ow. My noodles are finished. My noodles are finished. Well, I'm gonna go play Roblox. All right, you guys. So the soup is already done. So mainly it came out pretty quick um, as it was. So look how delicious that is. That is with the noodles. Look at all that juice. Ooh, that looks so good. And we are getting ready to eat. The stove is already off. And uh, we will uh, let you know how it, how it is. All right, you guys. So um, I forgot to mention that we do add cheese to our soups. That what makes it very tasty and very cheesy. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. So because it's very good on cold, cold days. Because when I took my dog out, out last night, it is freezing. So, this is a very good night to eat soup. Yummy. Guys. Alright, so here is our oh, delicious 
uh, beet, homemade beef ramen soup. I'm just eating the cheese real quick. I just showed you uh, not too long ago. It's going to be very delicious. So uh, we're just waiting for winter to come back. Okay. I want to try this one first. Alright, so here is the soup. Jesus. Oh, be careful. Ow. Okay, one, two, three. Mmm. Mm, that is so good. It's really good. No, this is not no ASMR. How is that? Alright, so. Yeah, those are our bites. Let me try, I'm gonna try my stuff in a second. Mm -mm. Right. Here's mine. Do you want to try it? No, thank you. I think I'll be full after this, probably one bowl. Mm. Could use more um, hot sauce. Amazing though. All right. Very delicious. Mm hmm See you when we're done eating. We'll be back. Uh, I just got done eating. Well, I'm still eating because it's. See? Hey, oh my. It's really good. Very delicious. Ugh. I hope you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> She's being so silly. Well, thank you for watching thank the you. day 14 of Waiting Till Christmas Vlog. We, we will do a day 15 Waiting Till Christmas Vlog tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Uh, 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 uh.